Imagine a mountain engulfed in smoke, thunder rumbling through the air, and a voice so powerful it shakes the earth itself. This is where the divine encounter that would change the course of history took place. In the desert, after escaping slavery in Egypt, the Israelites camped near Mount Sinai. Moses, their leader, climbed the mountain to meet with God. On top of the mountain, amidst thunder and smoke, God spoke to Moses in a powerful voice. Odd said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery then, God gave Moses ten important rules, called the Ten Commandments, which would guide how the Israelites should live. The Ten Commandments are, You shall have no other gods before me. This means worshipping only one God and not worshipping statues or idols. You shall not make for yourself an idol. This tells us not to make or worship statues or pictures as gods. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. This means not not using God's name in a disrespectful way. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. This is about setting aside one day each week, usually Saturday for Jews and Sunday for Christians to rest and worship God. Honor your father and your mother. This tells us to respect and obey our parents. You shall not murder. This means not to take someone else's life. You shall not commit adultery. This tells us to be faithful to our spouses and not cheat on them. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. This tells us not to lie about others or say things that are not true. You shall not covet. This means means not wanting things that belong to other people. After giving Moses these commandments, God wrote them on two stone tablets. Moses brought them down from the mountain to share with the Israelites. These rules help the Israelites understand how to live rightly and honor God in their daily lives. The Ten Commandments became the foundation of God's covenant with the Israelites, guiding them in their relationship with God and each other. They are still important teachings for many people today, shaping how they understand morality and faith.